Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today, in this video, I will show you how to fix access denied as you do not have sufficient privileges error with 4 quick fixes. But before that, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified when our new video lands. While talking about this error, then you might get this error from different sources such as when you try to run chkdsk in command prompt, try and converting FAT32 external hard drive to NTFS in CMD, or formatting devices like SD card, USB flash drive, CD drive, or hard drive, etc. Access denied as you do not have sufficient privileges error occurs mainly due to not running CMD with administrative privileges, registry corruption, corrupted dive in which Windows is installed, local account type, not having the ownership of the partition. Now, let's move on to fix this issue. Fix 1. Run the CMD as an administrator. Most of the time it has been advised to run the program in administrative mode to avoid such issues. To do so follow the below guidance, launch command prompt by typing CMD in the Windows search box. Now, right click on CMD, and click on run as administrator option. Once launched, enter the command chkdsk slash f drive letter and hit enter. After that press the key Y on your keyboard and hit enter. If it prompts would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Y slash N. Otherwise, simply exit from a CMD panel and restart your system to check for the issue. Fix 2. Run SFC scan to fix the registry corruption. Sometimes the registry corruption can cause do not have enough privileges to complete this operation issue. In this case, you can go for DISM or SFC to repair any corrupted registry. For running the SFC scan, simply follow the steps below. Go to Start Search Box or Win Plus R and type CMD to run command prompt. Then on CMD panel execute system file checker by typing SFC slash scan now command and hit enter. SFC scan will now automatically search for the corrupted files and repair them. Wait for the scanning process to get complete. You can execute the DISM tool by performing the below guided steps. Go to search box or win plus R and type CMD to run command prompt. Then on CMD, run the DISM command by typing DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and hit enter. Now, wait for the DISM to fetch for the corrupted files. Note, do not perform any other action while the scanning is in process. Fix 3. Convert current account to administrator. You can also try converting your current account to an administrative account to fix access denied as you do not have sufficient privileges you have to invoke this utility issue. Look for Control Panel. After that, select Control Panel from the appeared search result. Here, click on View By option and then select Category. Now, under User Accounts, Tap on Change Account Type to change the account type. After that, tap on your account to make changes. And then, on the left side, tap on the option Change the Account Type. Now navigate to Radio button next to Administrator to set the account as an administrator for your system. Once done, tap on the Change Account Type to save the changes made. Lastly, Exit Control Panel tab. Now try running the command from the administrative account and check whether or not you are getting a same error message. Fix 4. Try converting FAT32 to NTFS. You can use command prompt to convert FAT32 to NTFS without formatting via CMD. Just follow the simple steps below. Look for command prompt on a search box. Then select CMD from the appeared result and right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Type Help Convert and hit on the Enter key. 
it will give you a guide on how to convert fat volumes to another one. Type the command convert drive letter, slash ntfs, and press the enter key. Note, in place of drive letter, mention the letter of your storage drive or partition, wait and type exit once the conversion process finishes. Now your file system of the targeted device appears to be NTFS. That's all. Hope you liked this video. Hope you liked this video.